Hi, I'm Zachary Cowan, the author of the Study Daily Books, and thanks for joining me for a look at Doctrine and Covenants section 103. As we know, the saints in Missouri have been removed from Jackson County, and things have just gotten worse over the last few months, and they've come now to the prophet, and they're asking for what should he do? Uh, how do we help the saints? And he gets a revelation on how to go forth and to do things. So this is section 103. In verses 1 through 4, the Lord again recounts some of the reasons why he allowed this to happen. In verse 3, you get that, look, he had to let people be mean because they have to use their agency. They have to fill up the cup of iniquity before he can do anything. And in verse 4, they're not alone. The saints often also have to be tried, and they were partially to blame for the responsibility of why things were going. And then the Lord says, okay, now let me teach you how to prevail in circumstances when you think things should be one way and they start to slide and even you know that God has this expectation and it just doesn't match up anymore. How do we prevail in those circumstances? That's what the Lord is going to teach us and the saints in Jackson County, Missouri is how to prevail when things aren't matching our expectations. So go ahead, pause your video, check out section 103 verses 5 through 20 and learn how to prevail and let God prevail in your life, whatever the circumstances might be. See you in a minute. Hey, thanks for studying. One of the things I, I'm sure you saw is that the moment we begin to hearken to the Lord's counsel from this very hour, we start to have power and prevail in our life. In fact, the Lord even says, you'll never cease to prevail. You'll keep prevailing. You'll keep winning because it's meant for us to help be, uh, he even calls it the savior of the world, little, tiny. We're to help build up the world and to make it better and to do this with power. And yes, there's gotta be tribulation, but also he's going to send angels and other people before us. And so much of that comes into how well are we hearkening to the counsel the Lord gives. And he says, if you will hearken to me, I promise prevailing. Prevailing will come as you listen to me again and again and again. And so the saints, he says, let me, let me give you some counsel on how you might prevail. We've got a prophet. Let's go and redeem the people. And he said, but I don't want the prophet to go alone. I want an army to go with him, a camp of Israel, a camp of Zion's camp, to go and to help. And he actually asked for some things. And so when we start to look at this, let's go ahead and look. Um, in verse 30, he asked for 500 brethren. But if you can't get 500, and even says, sometimes people don't do my will, verse 31, it says, then get 300. And if you can't get that, you cannot go until you at least get 100. So the Lord's expectation was 500, then 300, then, then 100. Well, how many does he get? They get 207 men, 11 women, 11 children, and 25 wagons. The Lord has promised prevailing if we hearken to his counsel. And yet so often when God gives us an expectation, sometimes we as a group, we find ways to do less than that. Just imagine what would happen in our lives if we were better at hearkening to the counsel of the Lord. Is there any counsel that the Lord has given you that you feel that if you started living from this hour forward, you would better prevail in your life in? Is there a way that sometimes he's asking for 500 and we're giving 200, which is better than the minimum? And yet if we gave a little bit more, the Lord would obviously help us to prevail more. So often the reason God doesn't prevail in our lives is because we don't follow what he's asked us to do. I know that in my life. God is going to help these saints. So they're going to travel to Missouri and learn how to prevail with God. And I hope that today you'll hearken to some counsel with the Lord and prevail with him through the day, through the next few hours. All right, thanks for studying. We'll see you next time.